Okay friends, so this evening, Naomi and I are out in the rain. We were gonna go to some thrift stores. They all closed at six. It's so sad. Anyway, that's okay. Hobby Lobby is open. I don't know how far we'll get. If we could get farther, we do Hobby Lobby. We do Gabriel Brothers. We do what we can do. But these stores in our city close at eight, so we don't have much time. So let's go and do a fall and maybe some Christmas shop with me at Hobby Lobby. I've got a list of stuff I need for the new house and I've been holding back seasonal things. And now I'm thinking, I can get some seasonal things. So let's go get some and shop at Hobby Lobby and see what's new there. We're really liking this. That is cute. $48, 30% off. Christmas decor, 40% off. Grinch stuff. I really like this shelf. Oh, oh yes, that is really cute. And then I like this basket too. Look at all the things that could be organized in there. Very nice. Nice chairs, I really like this. Wish it was in white, cause that's kind of my little thing now. Very cute seasonal pillows. And then look how cute this is. <laughs> Little welcome pumpkins. Wonder if this stuff is marked down. Oh yes, everything's 40% off. That's super helpful. Oh, super cute. Gather together. Naomi just found these cute little fellows. Wonder how long I'd be able to keep them before they'd be confiscated. Oh, and the squirrel. Now we saw him here last time. Hmm, I'm thinking by the fireplace. Hmm. He talks to me every time. Look at the cute little pilgrim fox. Happy fall, y'all. He's cute. Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Now, what are these? Napkin holders, maybe. Oh, little name cards. Very cute. I'll need those eventually. These are just little tableware. Oh, you could put little note cards and things on them. Cute. Nice measuring cup. Very, very nice. These girls, I tell ya, super cute. They're on everything. Cute napkins. Oh, little timer. Oh, and look, recipe for pumpkin pie. Cute. I love all these teal pumpkins. Boy, he's cute. 29, so I think he's on sale. He'll be 17 something. Boy, oh, cute. And now we have the Christmas things in the works. Christmas prayer and deer. And then I like these. I like how they look faded. Wow, look at all the, so pretty. Little mermaids, donuts. Oh my, Santa making snow angels. <laughs> Cute little kitties. Look at those, oh precious. And all of these are 40% off currently. Wow, look. Look at the cute. Na you're gonna shop with Naomi and I. Cute. Oh. The gingerbread houses. I know. And now, even more ornaments. Wow, look at that Santa. <laughs> wow. Oh, coffee. Mm. So many pretty things. Look at that red. Ooh. Look at those, the wreaths. Oh, and the bows. And the Tivity straw. You got what you need. Santa signs. Lots and lots. All the trees, all oh, cute, like little candy trees. Naomi, look at the like big gummy bears. Very cute. Nice big nativity sets. Nice star. Oh, an advent calendar. That's nice. Maybe we'll do that this year. Okay, so we did find one thing holy. Look at this. Cow and a donut. I don't know. <laughs> oh, holy night. Peace and goodwill. Very good. Big cardinal, yeah. That's neat, so shadow lights. Like that would be fun, yes. Oh, and you can get it with the snow? Uh-huh. That's neat. You can do that while you all are doing school. So many nice garlands here. Okay, let's go find more fall stuff. Eat ham, yes, on my future count list. Really, really cute little kid pillows. Fun and big kid pillows. Okay, my future cow is calling me. And then the sheep. Uh huh. We got this. Cute pig. Got that rooster. Heard that. Very nice. I have liked that church picture. 
but I'm resisting. I still am. I don't know why. There's another cow. She's looking at me. Yes, another nice church picture. So I like churches and I like cows. We were just admiring this map. Whenever you get up close on it, I don't like how the states aren't actually divided. You know, for children, I like to see providences and individual countries and states and such. But I do like this as a, it's a canvas. I like lots of these things. I like those. So you can put them together in different, mm -hmm. different configurations there. Oh, this is pretty. Look behind me. Wow, rainbows. Lots of pretty. Rainbows, mermaids, and then boys, boy room, animal tracks, wolf face, llama, white lion. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Hedgehog. Dinosaur. All the dinosaur things. I'm getting this for Amelia for her desk. So cute. Look at all those cute ones. Oh, precious. All little deer eyes and more sloths. Little elephant. We were just talking about how we love these aisles, but like when I'm here, look, 50% off. When I'm in here, I just feel like I love it all and I want it all, but I don't know what to do with this. I can just enjoy it and appreciate it and keep moving, but I want it. Ooh, laundry things. Really nice baskets. I just love you baskets. More laundry signs over here. Lots of beautiful crosses. I love the colored glass. Pretty pieces up there, I like those. Okay, I'm currently giving myself a headache smelling all these candles. I love them all. This one is beautiful. I don't really like the cinnamon smell. I know that's weird, but it's a beautiful candle though. Ooh, all the incense reminds me of high school. Look at that one. I love that one. Love it. These are pretty over here. So many clocks. Now I got a clock for over one of our fireplaces. And it doesn't have the second hand and it's throwing some of my younger kids learning how to tell time off. <laughs> so maybe I don't see one in here with one either. I really love all these little knobs. This is very sound advice. Now this rack actually looks usable in a large family home. That's a nice size, looks sturdy. So many beautiful blue things. I love these bowls. Best cup ever. One poor little udder is chipped. I wanna paint that. But in this fantastic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thank you, thank you to the folks who got it for me. Did that Hobby Lobby shopping last night, so now I'm gonna show you everything I bought. Then we're gonna do a decorate with me. Lots of cute stuff. So it's funny, first trimester though, I don't really, this is like my normal once a day size cup of coffee. First trimester, I just can't do it, but I still make it, I still hold it. I've reheated it about six times. I've drank one fifth of it, I'm gonna sip it, but I'm not really, I'm not doing that much with it. So here's a quick overview of the table. Mm -hmm. We got our judgmental chicken sisters. They are cackling about this haul already. What are you girls saying? Cluck, 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 cackle, cackle. Mm -hmm. We know you. Okay, so I'll just start down here. It's kind of like housewares, kids stuff, decorative stuff. Okay, so I want to collect different little laundry room signs. And as you saw, Hobby Lobby had a bunch but I was sensible. I thought I'm just gonna add one at a time. So I was going to throw in the towel, but then I remembered how much laundry I already have. Ha ha ha, great in the laundry room. Got this for Miss Amelia. She loves giraffes and all animals. She's got some cute things going on at her personal project desk in her room. And so I just thought that would look great in her area. Then I got this pillow, nice big striped pillow. I got this for our blue couch over here. I thought I would switch it out with the pillow in the middle. Hopefully it's okay, because those pillows have stripes. Let's overanalyze the use of stripes. Not sure, not sure. Anyway, got the pillow, and since it had more tan than white, I thought it would hold up well. 
Got myself an apron. I know, I'm bad about wearing aprons, mm, cooking, cooking stuff and filming it every day, so maybe I should start wearing an apron. I don't know. Anyway, got one. This sparked so much joy. You want a piece of me? Yes, thank you. Love this cup, had to have it. So that's my second new favorite cup. Then, again, wish you all could smell this. They had the candles 50% off. I wanted all of them. This one is the one I chose. It's a clementine and mango coconut wax blend. Nice big candle. It smells great. Get, you know, big whiff, big whiff. Eventually in the candle section, I lose my sense of smell. That poor olfactory nerve is like, we can't take anymore. So anyway, went with that one. Then getting into kids stuff. So whenever we have the lumen hook around, I remember doing those as a kid. My kiddos just enjoy it. Actually, little Zion, when Zion was about seven or eight, I still got pot holders actually in my window that he made for me. So anyway, some of my younger kids coming up don't even know what I'm talking about with these since we're getting back into our school routine. And of course, kids take breaks in between things and our weather, weather outside, you might be able to see ducks and geese out there in the garden. Uh, weather outside is frightful. <laughs> it's still only September, but we're getting uh, very cold temps at night, all of that gonna have some more inside time. So I got two looms, those were only $3.49 each, but then I got three of the bags of the weaving loops. That was always my thing in the past. I would have kids like get making so many pot holders and placemats that we'd run out of the weaving loops. And uh, I didn't have a Hobby Lobby then. So I just bought three last night because I know this is gonna take off big time. <laughs> I got this small little globe. We always, it's like every day we end up talking about geography. Not really sure upstairs where to hang maps and such. We have two globes. They are packed with all of our books and all of our other school supplies. I saw this small one and I thought, well, this is so cute. I mean, this, this could go in the window over there or on the table. You know, my big ones, I usually keep one on the table. And when I get to unpacking my books and such this winter, we'll find them. But in the meantime, I think this was $12. I thought for the size, it was pretty good. We can at least identify the countries. So there you go, kids, have a globe. Now, also, many of my kiddos were going through a Berenstain Bear phase here. I love Berenstain Bears as a kid. Always good stories and lessons in there. And so they had three or four Berenstain Bear books there that we don't have. I picked this one for this time. We will read this one today. And then I got, these are <laughs> the creatures popular at our home, dinosaurs and farm animals. So there's 12, we got 24 each. I figure each kiddo, look, and there's my cow. She's, she's here still. Figure each kiddo will pick a couple. It'll be lots of fun. Actually, later this afternoon, I wanna watch Gifted Hands and To Kill a Mockingbird. And I thought while we watch those, I bet the kids will play with these a lot. This was a really good deal. So Gabriel, who's 11, he asked his big sister, Naomi, who's almost 14, if she had any extra of these drawing notebooks without the lines. And of course, when I heard that, I was like, ah, oh, boy, I will get you one if you need it. So when we were shopping last night, Naomi had found this pack for herself. It comes with four, I think it's four, yeah, four drawing notebooks, pencils, eraser, charcoal, um, sharpeners and such. It says $44.95, our price $19.99. So Naomi got one for herself. I sent her, so you gotta, you gotta hear the whole story around the barn, right? Sent her to go get her brother one of these drawing notebooks without thinking of the price comparison. She brought it to me and one of these big notebooks was $15 and all of a sudden it clicked. I was like, oh, Naomi, wait. The art set you're getting is only 19. Get him another one. Okay, you follow all that? So she got hers. It's already in her art supplies. This is his. He will enjoy it. Yay. Okay. And then this, I'll show you what I got it for. This is just one of those little faux candles. I have this beautiful candle holder and I have tried so many different candles in here and every time I get the candle home, it will not fit. So I got that. That will fix that situation. And look, it, it shimmers. Love it. Okay. And I had gotten this at Hobby Lobby whenever I bought decorating stuff just to get the house set up. So got the fun pumpkin side. We're going to go decorate with this stuff in a minute. I know where I'm going to put that. Exciting. And then this squirrel, 
If you watched my decorating video, I don't know. Which video was it? If you, one of my videos recently, I showed this squirrel. It was talking to me. I didn't get it. So when I went back yesterday, specifically to get some fall focused decorations, the squirrel was like, hey, take me home now. And I said, sure, squirrel, hop in the cart. So the squirrel is home. Then uh, Naomi has loved these little animals. She's been collecting them. And so I also got some that she picked out to do on the mantle here behind me. Got one of these pumpkins because got us a silver pumpkin and then this just the little try me sample also thought we'd put that on the mantle so I think I just disconnect this right okay all right all right okay Hobby Lobby buy your own batteries girl okay we'll do it let me go get some and for the moment I'm just gonna take a few things that are up here down we will clean give it a good scrub and since we just Got school rolling this past week. Small read aloud stack right now. A lot of my younger kiddos do not know Little House on the Prairie. So for them, we're starting at the beginning. The uh, original wedding pictures and kid pictures. Let me tell you other stuff I'm enjoying. These, uh, this is a pumpkin sage scent. I got these little warmers at Walmart. I forgot we we really like our little basic calendar set up I usually have a kid out here early in the morning changing that up for us here's how it's looking I was gonna just put the candle in the closet but then I thought no no girl don't do that there you go there's our little fall mantle in our room that's our heavy traffic room and I'm not fully committed to what I'm doing with these shelves yet. So I just put my faux candle there, put the little squirrel there. And then I move the, the 1998 wedding picture down there for now. And then Friendly the Cat, he's uh, keeping the couch warm there. But there's the, the switched out pillow. What do you think, Friendly? He's old, it's okay. Now you're comfy. Now you're comfy, buddy. So now we will take these two things and get them out front. So I picked us up pumpkins the other day and mums probably the week before that. So slowly adding to it. There's another mum, lots of leaves. And then over here, another pumpkin, more mums. More mums, still the bulbs I've got to plant. More mums, another cool pumpkin. Okay, so here by my front door, I'm gonna do this little pumpkin sign. And then right here in the middle of my front garden, I did that little welcome pumpkin sign. We are still waiting for our painters to come that are going to do all of our caulking and trim and get all this yellow painted and do all that um, cedar shake siding and stuff that I want. So I will definitely share some pictures or video or do something once that is done so you can see how it all turned out. Just had that picture hung here in our kind of multi-purpose room. Okay so now I'm going to give the children great joy i figured that there'll be five of them who will be interested in these so they can each have five benjamin will get four i don't think he'll notice okay let's go see so this is a real big deal what we're gonna do is at the picnic table go spread them out and i'm gonna have them pick the four for benjamin and then we'll surprise him with those Bruce, we can play dinosaur games. For yeah, some and then we got dinosaurs. some different collection farm animals and dinosaurs. I was telling our YouTube friends that that's, that's what our life is, right? Dinosaurs and farm animals? Yep. And the garden spots I'm just dying to make. Cannot wait to do this. So thank you friends for watching this Hobby Lobby shop with me and haul for fall 2020. I will see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye.